Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Horimiya episode number 2. Alright, uh, the previous episode we got introduced to a few characters, um, the main characters, my main two characters and their friends. And uh, the first episode covered I think a lot of things, the whole thing with Hori and Miyamura's relationship and then uh, the other guy, I forgot his name um that guy uh, like him confessing to hori and her like declining it and then there was like a small little misunderstanding between hori and miyamura that was also cleared up like a lot of things happened in that uh, single episode that a lot of anime are unable to complete in a single season and i really like that like this is like a no nonsense straight to the point show and that's what i appreciate so yeah and like uh let's see what this like episode the next episode brings and i can see there are a few characters a few like um i'm guessing the main supporting characters uh except like like hori and miyamura are the main characters uh, i'm guessing and the others are like the main supporting characters so let's see like usually in these type of shows uh like there's like oh, the only like main focus is on the two characters the two main characters but i don't think this show will be like that because the other characters seemed a lot more important you know than simple side characters so yeah anyways guys let's get started with this episode this is episode number two of horimiya right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three Two, one, go. Okay, the shopping. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Sesa. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's from an anime. <laughs> she didn't realize. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, because he watches it. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, we've all been there, you know. Oh, who is this? A sister or her mother? Mom. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. um okay like i was thinking like usually in animes the parents of the characters are not shown that much you know but i was kind of like you know mixing it up with shonen anime in shonen anime the parents are not shown that much but in shoujo anime i think yeah the parents are shown a lot of the times because yeah yeah like yeah 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 in shoujo anime i have like noticed this that the main character's parents or the side character's parents are introduced which is quite rare in shonen animes you know like like no mom no dad always that same setting i really love this opening because of the whole like thing they're doing with the colors and like you know the way they're like distributing it into panels and like you know one panel is summer one panel is like uh, fall one panel is like spring the other is winter and the art style is pretty pleasing to the eye in the opening okay You may wear more than one face. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
शायद भी क्या ओ वाह She is not wrong, you know. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Villain <laughs> friend. Okay. Oh, what's his first name? Yeah. Okay, her first name is Kyoko. Did you say Kyoko? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> wait, wait. He, she's like sitting there to look at the attendance. <laughs> Registered. <laughs> All right. You got a first name or what? <laughs> No, that's not how you how you ask. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh my God! What the hell? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. Okay. Hmm. Uh. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh no. Yes, he is not. Oh, his name is Toru. I forgot. Oh no. His trauma. <laughs> his trauma. Okay. Well, at least they're like still, you know, good friends. Like, there's no kind of. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's with this mom? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he he might. Oh, what? Oh my God! He's like, wow, what happened? She's tall, like even though she's like standing in an elevated platform. Oh, oh no, she won't be able to listen to his name. Oh, there she is. Oh no, that's Sota. Oh, he gave her the name. <laughs> oh no, the name. <laughs> Wait, her mom knows the name now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> In... Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm, um okay, like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at Sota, he's like. <laughs> 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 
Je <laughs> leeg. Oké, okay, wauw. <laughs> Izumi, oh. Izumi, oké. Okay. <laughs> um, I might also forget, you know, Izumi, okay, need to. <laughs> okay. Wait, does he know her? I think he knows her first name. Yeah, I was thinking. I think he knows. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Look at Sota. <laughs> of course I will. <clears throat> okay. Sengoku. Oh, what's with this guy? Like, okay, her name is Sakura. Oh. Oh, what the hell? He's like, like he's like. Oh, okay, understandable. But why are they giving her the, like, she's not related to the student council. Or is she? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Wait, does he, I think. I think the president knows her, like. Hmm. And she also has to go home and do like like the like household works and stuff. <laughs> Job of the class. Damn. I don't think that's actually the case, but Oh, who is this? New character? Ayasaki. So many characters, I need to start remembering their names. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, okay, so... Wow. <laughs> oh. Damn. That that's And she needs to start go like go home and do work. Like you know, do the household works and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is... Oh! Damn! He wasn't even walking, he was just standing! Oh, she seems pretty different. Wait! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is that even? Budget report. Okay. 
and he has to do she has to do the school stuff as well the studying damn like <laughs> this pretty tough schedule what wait is that the budget report that I think so. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, that girl. Oh, she is afraid of... She's afraid of saying... Dude, why the hell did she say the throw it away? Like, what? I think Miyamura has it, I think. I doubt he threw it away. Yeah. Why the hell is the student council even like depending on her in the first place? What? What? They're piling their job on her and then like complaining about it? What is this? This is like... <laughs> he is ready. <laughs> like... Taking off his glasses and all. Oh. Oh! Damn. Yeah, okay, he deserves it. Yeah, you tell them. Yeah. She remembers it now. Like, how can we be casual about, like, the school budget and... Okay. Oh, God. Well, at least the uh, misunderstanding got resolved. Uh, like... Hmm. Well, he was pissing, you know, like pissing everyone off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why do you do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was thinking maybe like they knew each other. Oh, she used to bully him. My God. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh. Okay, I feel bad for him now. 
Oh yeah, he she has her image to maintain now. <laughs> okay, and he's the student council president now, so <clears throat> Okay Oh my god <laughs> He has PTSD now <laughs> <laughs> A new drama. <laughs> oh wow. Hmm. End of March. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeweler. Yeah. Damn, they're like. <laughs> hmm. Like staring at the calendar. Twenty fifth. Hmm. High school graduation. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh, she forgot. <laughs> wow. Oh, what is this? Oh. oh. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, she wanted this? I'm guessing when she was like uh, humming the anime song, I think he thought. Hmm. Oh yeah, the third years. So uh, I think uh, in Japanese, uh, like in the school system, third year is the last year, isn't it? Like after the third year, there's the, like the graduation. I think so. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I, I should probably check this out because um, like I'm quite interested in it. Like how the school system goes in the Japanese system. I think uh, this like the like. I think the uh, lower grade is like from grade one to five or something. And then I think comes middle school, which is like from six to nine or ten, I'm not sure. But it kind of like goes like that. And then comes high school, which has three years, like the first year, the second year, and the third year. And then graduation. I think so. Then uh, 
Like if that is the way it goes, then it's pretty similar to our, like, you know, the way our school also, like, the place where I live, like, I'm, I live in India, like, it's a lot similar to how our, like, grading, like, system also goes. Like, the same, we have, like, from 1 to 10, then, like, the high school is, like, 11 and 12. They have three years, we have two years. And then there's, like, the college. So, yeah. Anyways, that's just something completely different. <laughs> I went on a tangent there. All right, that's the end. That was um, Horimiya, episode number two. Now, <clears throat> like uh, this episode uh, also like this uh, only introduces, no, uh, introduces four characters. The first character is her, their mom, uh, Hori's mom. And then three new characters. I think uh, the first one was Sengoku, uh, President Sengoku. The other one, uh, his girlfriend, I forgot her name. Um, I, I can't remember her name, but it was something with A. And then Sakura. And uh, the glasses wearing, wearing girl with green hair. And uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, uh, let's, so let's talk from the beginning. The first thing is like uh, <laughs> Hori kind of. Um, you know, hesitating on asking Miyamura for his first name, which I think is really uh, like true in a lot of ways, like the whole hesitation part, because you know, like you've, you're kind of like hanging out with each other and everything, and then you suddenly realize that, oh my God, I don't even know his first name. Like, how can I even ask that? Like the embarrassment and at the same time, <laughs> the realization that like i'm so inattentive i'm i don't even know his first name even though he is like hanging out with us for so long <laughs> like that that's quite embarrassing in a way so that's why like i can kind of understand the hesitation that she was going through at that moment and uh, the way she tried to like <laughs> figure out his first name like the uh, like like he she was like standing in this teacher's like you know teacher's place to look at the attendance record and then like in the class academic standings the list where like people who have done well in tests um <laughs> like uh, that one uh, like uh, she went there but he like uh, like miyamura is not good at studying so his tests test like his name was not there and everything <laughs> and then like she finally figures like things like okay like mom is here like he'll most probably come and i'm sure like he'll give give his first name to uh, uh to my mom because you know because he is introducing himself to her mom uh it's like a formal thing so obviously like you should like he would definitely give out his first name as well as the last name <laughs> and their mom was <laughs> like uh, and uh, like holy's mom like decided to like make him make her go for some errands so that <laughs> she does not hear uh the first name <laughs> yeah, like that was funny and then like in the end like she got to know the first name um by like just directly asking about it and <laughs> yeah that that was a funny thing <clears throat> and uh, and miyamura knew he, her like first name like i was kind of thinking about it like does he know her first name and it turns out that he does like he must have like heard it like you know I, either from her own like you know uh, her mouth or from someone else's or something but yeah <clears throat> and i need to start remembering the name his name is izumi miyamura and hori's name is um kyoko kyoku kyoko isn't it kyoko hori i think just a sec let me just check kyoko yeah kyo Okay, Izumi Hori, uh, Izumi Miyamura and Kyoko Hori. Wow, these names are pretty difficult to remember. Like, okay. Oh my god. Uh, sorry about the noise outside. All right, and then. <clears throat> okay, and then the next part of the uh, like episode comes in where like we get to meet the new characters, Sengoku, his girlfriend, and Sakura, and um, like. <laughs> now the reason why like i kind of like guessed it because like she like the way she, she was interacting with sangaku it kind of implied that she knew him from before so like 
like that and uh like why she was doing all of the works even though like you know uh <laughs> like she's not part of the student council now at the beginning i thought like maybe they are like you know kind of exploiting her you know like because like because like sengoku knew her from uh like the past that's that's why like she, he was like piling all the jobs uh like all the extra jobs of the student council onto her turns out that is actually not the case like um <laughs> i think she he was doing it in like spite you know because she, like he wanted to get his revenge or something <laughs> on her because of the whole bullying thing that he endured when he was a child and i think that was it like that was just a little bit of uh what can i say like because he was frustrated at the whole situation and wanted to have some kind of a revenge thing but it kind of like escalated into a bigger problem which i think he should have like recognized and stopped it at that moment because you know when the whole thing was going down like uh, they were like standing in front of all the students and like uh, he was saying that uh, oh like you must have not given the thing to us like that was like like you were doing it in like you know like um because you wanted to have some revenge on her uh, and like giving piling on the works on her that was okay kind of in a way but like after the thing that happened after that was kind of not okay because because of that like all of the blame would have fallen on me <clears throat> uh, like hori and all of the students would also have kind of have this kind of a bad impression about her and people would start to like you know talk about her behind their backs like that's like you know high school like, <laughs> like if something happens like rumors will start floating around and like many other stuff so i think that was something that sengoku should have recognized that oh no like this is escalating into a very different uh, like you know like path i should probably stop this and as a st especially because he's a student council president like and uh, because of that like he should have like said that okay like Uh, let us talk somewhere else you know like here are a lot of people that we're attracting attention let's just stop it here and let us talk somewhere else but he was kind of like blaming her in front of all the other students and also uh, like his girlfriend like i i think he also she also realized that the mess that she did was being blamed upon her and got frightened at the you know like like thinking that oh my god like if i say something now like uh like all the blame will fall on me people will get mad at me and like it was a weird situation and i think uh like i don't blame her girlfriend i forgot i also forgot, i forget his I forgot her name like what was her name it's really like weird referring to her as her girlfriend just a sec let me just check her name like it was something with a as far as i can remember um what was ayasaki remi okay ayasaki remi Remy is pretty easy to remember. I think I'll call her Remy. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, so yeah, as I was saying, so I think uh, like I don't think that she was at like she was to be blamed here because I think a lot of people will say that ah oh, this was Remy's fault because you know like she did not say anything at that moment. I don't think that is the problem here. Like yeah, she is at fault. But I think the person who was at a bigger fault for like at least for that situation was Sengoku. because he being the student council president even though like uh like even though hori like even if it was hori's fault you know you should not do something like that in front of the whole student you know like uh, like all of the student like who like, they were standing in front of all the students you should not do that because that would probably be quite traumatizing and traumatizing but quite like scary and at the same time it would be a really like like you know bad for the person who is like being blamed like everyone will start talking behind the that person's back and a lot of things it will escalate into a whole different problem so i think uh, at that moment she should have like you know like realized that oh like this is going in a bad direction i should probably stop here and talk somewhere else where there are no people around um like as like uh, remy was also kind of at fault but she was also i think like scared at that like you know the prospect of get like pinning like everyone pinning the pinning the blame on her and you know like the way she was kind of like cowering behind like sengoku's back so yeah but anyways like uh, miyamura came in and like thankfully like he 
kept the thing like even though um <laughs> remy said to throw it away like i don't know why the hell did she even like you know like she gathered all the other documents put it in the box and then the one document that was left he she didn't even bother to look at it <clears throat> excuse me and said that oh that throw it away like we don't need it like at least like bother checking it like but yeah and <clears throat> then like there was this whole thing with um no no sorry uh, and then okay uh whatever whatever i saying i forgot uh okay and then like remy uh like ran away like not ran away but got away from there and thankfully like miyamura looked at the document and saw that it's the budget report and like according to his like he must have took a decision that oh like this is a budget report i should probably keep it because even though she told to throw it away probably something important and he kept it and that was like a good decision because if he did not keep it you know even though he came and like like came to hold like hold his rescue he wouldn't, wouldn't be able to prove anything because he does not have it and he threw it away or something so thankfully he kept it and uh, yeah the problem was solved and uh like at that moment i was really uh, like uh, uh, like obviously like because we did not know what actually sengoku's like you know what happened between sengoku and um hori uh like i was a little pissed at him because like the way he was acting like you know like oh like uh it must have been your fault like uh like what do you mean like you think that remy is telling a lie or something like he was kind of like acting like that in front of everyone like that really pissed me because he was not even listening to her you know like to her side of the story he was just like putting the blame on her and all of the other student bodies were also like like standing there listening to him and it would have given them a wrong impression as well and you know mob mentality like people would start talking and there would be like a whole new mess so i was a little bit pissed at him at that moment obviously and uh, i think that what he did at that moment was one like like was a thing that he probably should not have done but anyways like hori had butted him and i felt better after that and i guess like he <laughs> <laughs> like uh, after that like he like uh, miyamura brings out the budget report and everyone gets to know what actually happened and they apologize in front like uh, to hori and another thing that was really pissing me off at that moment is like they were like like you know piling all the work on hori hori was doing everything and like even after that like everyone was spinning the blame on her like that was also another thing that pissed me off because you know like in the first place that's not her job so like why are you like even like blaming her you know because i don't know like anyways and i think it felt as if like the things that remy were unable to complete you know and they were being piled upon hori and it's like as they said like she is the club like you know student council mascot anyways but yeah and another thing i kind of like uh, noticed is that uh, remy is quite afraid of sakura <laughs> like she was kind of mentioning that oh my god sakura will get mad again and then in the end like when she was kind of like you know when the blame fall, fell on her like sakura was like looking at her <laughs> like intimidated intimidately and she, she got like scared and everything and started crying but yeah like, thank god it like cleared out uh, the whole problem and uh, then we get to know like the actual like thing like the hori used to bully him and i kind of felt bad for him after that because you know even though like uh, like he kind of like made the problem like escalate like you know like because he did not stop that problem there the whole student council thing uh, i kind of felt bad for him because you know like being bullied i think it, it was like fun bullying like in, not like the the typical bullying that people go through you know where like it's like really bad the bad type of bullying not that it was like friends bullying each other that that's something that's completely fine but yeah like he was kind of like wanted his re revenge and stuff and because of that everything like this happened and then like after that we get a little bit of a portion where like this is hori's birthday and like miyamura brings her 
I think a CD type of thing with like a lot of uh, music in it and like Hori said that oh like you understood what I wanted and I think Hori uh, like Miyamura kind of figured it out that she wanted the CD because she was humming the whole ani anime song you know and she kind of like mentioned that oh like I don't even like know what it's popular nowadays so I think because of that like he kind of like put one and one together and like decided that I probably might give something like related to music to Hori you know because she was kind of humming that but yeah and uh, uh, like they kind of realized that we'll be third year soon the whole thing with like you know like meeting each other and like, like interacting with each other would probably come to a stop after like a third year you know because like they'll kind of go in their own way own direction but I, I like one year is a long time i'm sure like some new developments will happen and yeah let's just wait for it so yeah guys that was it that was hori mia episode number two and uh, like uh, i enjoyed it, like uh, i really enjoy this show because it has like it's like a no nonsense thing like problems come and it get resolved in one episode as far like as i can see like uh the two episodes that i've seen and i really like that you know so yeah and it's like a really like nice story as well and we have like there, there are like a lot of new like a lot of characters as well like, not only we're like not it's not just that we are only um, like focused on these two characters there are a lot of other characters as well so which is also uh, like big plus point for this show so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was Horimiya episode oh I kind of said that before uh, anyways <laughs> episode number two uh, if you guys enjoyed this my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, consider doing so because that will help me a lot and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share uh, I'll definitely be checking them out so yeah guys i'll be back with another Horimiya episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day